So if you are a Jacksonville Jaguars fan, I guess one thing you do have to be grateful for is the past two seasons you have gotten to have the, the number one pick. As a Packers fan, unfortunately, we're always stuck with the, you know, one of the later picks in the first round because we win lots of games, which I guess is a good problem to have. But you are lucky if you're a Jaguars fan to have a number one pick in back-to-back -back season. So today... Um, or yesterday, a, the GM of the Jacksonville Jaguars is sort of talking about that situation, talking about number one pick, and he was asked if they would potentially be open to trading the number one pick, and this is what he had to say. He says, you're always open for business. Now, whether we'll be able to move it or not is the question, but we're very comfortable taking the pick as well. We've got to be prepared for anything in this league, so to say we won't shop it is probably not 100% correct, but to say we will is probably not either. So we're going to see what comes and if something comes our way and it makes sense to us, we'll make that decision at that time. So he is open to trading away the number one pick, saying that maybe they'll use it. Maybe if there was, you know, a great opportunity, they would think about potentially trading it away. I guess in, when you look at this class, a lot of people say that, you know, the quarterback group isn't as great as it was last year. And lots of people don't see a quarterback going in the top 10. I do sort of wonder, though, if a team who really wants a quarterback decides, you know, well, if we don't pick him now, we're not going to get him later. Um, so I do wonder if that will end up, you know, leading to a quarterback pushing up the charts, but because there isn't some guy that everyone really wants, I think who, who is potentially projected as, you know, like a number one pick overall, I almost wonder if there'd be a less likelihood of someone really wanting to give away other draft picks to move up to the number one spot, but maybe there is a team out there. You never know who sees a guy that they really like. And if they're willing to give up multiple draft picks to move up to the number one spot, it's always a possibility, um, but if you are the Jaguars, you would have to think about that because as he said, you know, if there's some good offer, you know, why not take it? And then here's another quote from the GM. He says, you have to take the player that you think is the best fit for, your, for the organization as a whole and makes the biggest difference. If that's the offensive tackle position, you do it. If it's edge rusher, you do it. I've always been a big believer in go big or go home. This draft has a lot of unique players in it. There may not be that clear number one player, but there's a lot of very good football players at the top of this draft that we're obviously going to be in position number one and have our pick of those players. So with the Jacksonville Jaguars picking Trevor Lawrence last year, I do think that they should use this pick on a um, offensive tackle. You know, I th I've seen Evan Neal float around Ike Mekwanu as well, float around as the number one pick potentially for the Jaguars. I just think if you've already invested so much in Trevor Lawrence, you should, you know, give him some help there on the offensive line. Three of his guys are going to be free agents on the O-line and two are only signed through the next season. So I do think it, it makes sense for them to come in and draft an offensive tackle. You know, he, they could also draft an edge rusher like Aiden Hutchinson. But at the same time, I think that you invested in Trevor Lawrence. Why not use a, you know, first round, your first pick on an offensive tackle? But who knows if there would be a team out there that would trade for the number one pick. I don't see it happening, but there's always a possibility. You never know what could happen. But that is all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, feel free to subscribe to the channel down below. But uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.